you know, in the chiropractic realm that uh, I come from, we talk about the, the brain cell and the tissue cell and the connectivity between the brain cell and the tissue cell. So that somebody has something wrong with their stomach and you open up that channel, then the body knows how to heal itself. Well, likewise, within the brain itself, we have the emotional centers, which are supposed to do their job and be emotional, and, and then they're supposed to calm down. And then we have the, uh, the frontal cortex, uh, that is uh, there to analyze things, and it, they do have a little seesaw effect with each other, don't they? One calms down the other one. But what we're really talking about, what you said, is the connectivity, and the and that's what this uh, the scan showed. Yes. They showed the connectivity was increased. So between one center of the brain and another center of the brain, it's but maybe both centers are working just fine, but it's the connectivity that maybe isn't working. And so Dr. Newberg showed you the connectivity, showed you that the connectivity was opened up, is that correct? Yes, it's actually thicker. So it's not just that it opens up, but before, it okay. looks like little, um, like strands of spaghetti. Like individual little strands are what you can see in the picture. And then when you look at the after picture, they're, they're about as thick as my pinky. That's a lot. I know, well, it's a lot denser. Especially in the brain. Yes. I mean, that's a lot of, um, the economy of the brain is dedicating that much uh, neurological tissue from the uh, limbic system up to the prefrontal cortex, uh, uh, that is not a small thing. No, and it feels big to the patient. That's what's yeah. most important. I mean, I, I love that we can find it on the scan and we can see it, but you were saying, you know, there's all this subjectivity and do they feel better, do they not, and one minute they do, the next minute they don't, but when you look at this, Every single one of the patients felt significantly and dramatically better. There was not a single patient, I don't know of another study that can say every single patient felt better. I wanted to ask you about the study itself and the patients that were coming in. So they were having distressing memories related to their cancer. In order to be, meet criteria for this study, they had to have some sort of distressing memory or distress related to having had cancer. So for a lot of patients, it was the moment of diagnosis, mm. getting that news, sitting there with their family member next to them or all alone, hearing those words. It's metastasized, stage three, ovarian cancer, those kinds of things, and the sense of foreboding and the world crashing in around them, and I think of my husband and who's going to take care of him and my girls. It's that sort of, those were some of the moments. Some of them were also related to the treatment itself. So um, having wounds related to the cancer, looking down and seeing this wound that reminds me of having had the cancer and the sense that I shouldn't have had the surgery, but I had the surgery and why did I go through with the surgery, you know, those sorts of things. Um, they weren't coming in seeking, they, they weren't coming in with any experience with non-traditional medicine. So mm -hmm. almost all of them had never seen muscle testing knew nothing about meridians or acupuncture, or acupressure points. Um, they weren't coming in for those kinds of things, um, but they, so they had absolutely no experience with this technique. So I really had to start from the ground up explaining how muscle testing works and um, <laughs> what we were going to be doing. You know, and, and, and once I had them set up and we were at the, you know, original event, I'd be like, this is the treatment. You know, like I'd want to make sure to really get their attention to the fact that we'd gotten to where we, where they, this was where they needed to focus. The, but I want to go back to, they had these dis distressing uh, memories of getting the diagnosis. Wait, it's very understandable. But did they carry this forward in their life? Was it bothering them as they went to the grocery store and as they... I mean, and, and they sat down at dinner. I mean, is it something that they lost sleep over? Did they have an ongoing reaction to this bad news about this cancer? Absolutely. It was more than just, you know, a reaction to bad news about cancer. It was a lingering effect. I mean, some of these patients had had cancer, you know, five years ago and were completely in remission and were going to be fine. They had this feeling that it was going to come back or that they couldn't stop thinking about what they went through. So one of the things that you said, and, and you've mentioned to me before, because I, I, I called and talked to you, um, and I asked you, you know, Anna, would you please uh, write a little manual for the practitioners? Because uh, you're the only one in the world that has had definitive evidence uh, that the treatment's been successful. There's thousands and thousands of graduates out there, and they are all using it every day, and uh, with success, they tell me, and 
I don't have any reason. So, but anyhow, you're the only one that actually has concrete evidence. So I asked you, would you consider for the foundation uh, writing a manual for the practitioners? And you said yes. And then you told me something. You said, yeah, nothing fancy. Go ahead, you fill in at this point. You said, nothing fancy, I just used the basic. Yes, that I just used the basic 12 steps when I sat down to write the manual. I had to email you because as I was thinking of what I was going to say and I was going through the 12 steps, I realized that's basically what I did. <laughs> I didn't even do the 15 steps with the homeopathy. I just did the 12 steps. It is the basic 12 steps. And I want to be clear, I didn't do anything magical or fancy. I have no special abilities. Like, I just did the 12 steps. I did them well. I did them consistently. And that is what got the results. And so people can go home who are using this and feel confident that if you've taken a few basic NET courses and maybe a success, because it took me that long to really feel comfortable with it, you're going to be able to do this in your practice every time.